Good morning, everyone. This is Jay. Uh, morning class. Good morning, LA class. This is 7.30 Pacific time. And we start our restore our health class. The main idea is restore your range of motion. And of course, activate all your muscle, all your weakness and uh, work through. And of course, connect to yourself. This is the main idea of this class. As usual, we start in a sitting position with the breath work and a little bit self uh, meditation. Like so, the idea is pull yourself up, pull your spine straight. Just imagine you have a little strain attached to your head and it's pull you up. If you can't sit in the cross leg position, you can sit in the bench. Uh, couch make sure it's not movable and it's safe around so the most important rule of this class it's your safety and also no pain if you experience any a uh, pain during specific motion that's mean something not functioning and have to be corrected with professional or like physical therapist or doctor So keep yourself up. Take a couple inhale through your nose. If this is locked, if you have like a sinuses problem, try to breathe through the mouth then. I mean, you have to breathe somehow. Exhale through the nose too. And now we're gonna start our First exercise is called breath 360. What we try to do, we try to extend all our body to the sides, not just up. Most of us is breathing this way. We're sitting, we slouch, and this is our breath. We want to pull ourselves up and extend our body. So inhale through your nose, extend your rib cage, pull your stomach in when you exhale. If you feel super stiff, don't be frustrated. Just, you know, start really slow. Take your time. I feel today my left side is extended pretty well. My right side is kind of a little bit behind. So what I'm doing here, I'm apply the pressure. You can use your hands or bands. But now I'm apply both hands to my left or right side and I'm apply pressure when I'm inhale and when I'm exhale. exhale. observe what's happening to you so what i'm feeling right now when i push it here i feel it's a little shift in my left upper body so everything connected we want peace so activate that peace be one piece don't be disconnected from yourself now it's much better i feel it's correcting my upper body it's just amazing how does everything work now I place my both hands on the side and I want to feel that push in motion to the sides extend it to the side Now we slowly raise our arms up and try to work on our rib cage now. If it's impossible, that's okay. I'm usually applied the bands. Just go band around me, attach to the door, and this is how I do it. Just put a lot of pressure on my rib cage and I breathe through it.
couple more. Really good. Relax. We're going to count, uh, do count breath. We're going to count to four. You're going to inhale, hold, exhale, and hold. And everything going to happen on count of four. You're going to count in yourself. I'm going to help you in the beginning. And after, you're going to go on your own. Prepare yourself. Pull, push, pull yourself up. Go ahead and inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Now hold and go on your own. Try to be focused, count, and focus on your breath. Let's do one more cycle. And go back to your normal breath. Specifically, this exercise is going to teach you to connect. To connect to your body, to connect to your breath. Just observe what's going on with your body. How do you feel? And of course, turn attention to yourself. Next one, we're going to do pranayama. We're going to use our two fingers. There's going to be pinky for the left nostril and big thumb uh, for the right nostril. So the idea is inhale through one nostril and exhale through the other. The fingers is going to help you to be focused on that breath. And of course, help you to lock. If you can breathe through your uh, one of the nostril, well, help you with the mouse, but the idea is to balancing. I used to can breathe through my left. Now it's working pretty well. It took me like nine months to get there. <clears throat> so prepare yourself. Place your pinky on the left nostril and exhale through the right. I'm sorry, inhale. Now go ahead, lock with a big tom and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Lock with your finger and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Lock and exhale through the left. Try to pull yourself up. Inhale through the left. Lock it and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Now be on your own and exhale through the left.
couple more. Lower your arm and return to your normal breath. Now just observe. Sit still. Try to maybe adjust yourself. Maybe that's you feel much better in some different position. Pull yourself more up. Your chest is looking forward. Create this arc in your lower back. Pull yourself up. And now start turning your head left and right. We did a pretty good job yesterday with our neck. My neck is feel great. I don't experience any pain for many, many months. Doing this every day, I feel great. I invest the time in myself. Now up and down. Try to pull your chest up. Now place your both hands on that chest and pull up. Stretch that fascia. Pull everything in front. Push this chest down. Open this up. We're working on the chest and your neck muscle. It's a very long one. Platusma is called. That's what is pulling up that fascia. That sternocleidomastoid muscle is two muscle in the front of your neck. It's important to know that muscle. It's stress-related muscle. If you turn to the side, you will find that muscle. It's a big, like a rope part right in here. You can even massage that. It's important to keep that muscle in the nice body tone. If not, it's create that insomnia, headaches. Turn to the other side, massage this. We never touch this. We want to feel ourselves. We want to know what's going on. The next one, my favorite, you grab your hands like this, like a claw, put right behind your head. And what you're doing here, you just try to, your claw is moving down and your head is looking up a little bit. We're working in this occipital area. Stay away from the midline, go a little bit more on the side. Let me show you. This is where am I right now. So I'm scooping down, I pull, feel great. If you feel bumpy, that's maybe your one of the vertebrae it's stick out or turning. So you need to visit chiropractor. Those guys do an amazing job. Here we go. And of course, us, the Life RX Wellness, the best manual therapist in Los Angeles. I'm guaranteed. All right. So now let's open, uh, let's work in on our chest, a little bit traps. So the first one, I call this travel bag because we're always <laughs> walking like we hold some big travel hiking bag. I don't know what's in there. Probably everything. If you take a girl with you on the hike, oh, wow, that's going to be heavy. So pull it out, drop this bag. It's no bag up there. Feel great. Couple more. Feel this heat. And now pull everything up. Squeeze, squeeze all your glutes, your abdominal area. Pull, pull, pull. Breathe. Pull yourself up. Slowly release that shoulder. Keep squeezing your glutes. That's the idea. The next one, my favorite, rotate your scapular. So we're working on those shoulders and we feel our scapular behind. It's moving. That guy's right there. You feel them. You can go forward. You can go backward. Play with yourself. Feel that which way is a hard way. You can go one forward or one backward you see it's really hard to readjust yourself wow it's really interesting yeah switch this is the wrestlers this is how they mobilize their shoulder they need those short healthy shoulder or they're not going to be able to wrestle jiu-jitsu guys a lot of injury up there guys 
take care of this it's important the next one it's my favorite we open our chest we like a rip our uh ribs so the fist together you're bouncing too short one two and third one pull up one two and pull squeeze your shoulder blades behind one two three one two three open up you can do palms we need that shoulder so let's focus in a little bit more on our shoulders today good now go ahead grab your band my favorite rotator cuff exercise grab the band like this uh so it's like you holding a suitcase and now the flip that band behind you on that elbow pull with the other arm and place this in 90 90 degrees okay so this is 90 90 look now go ahead back neutral don't turn your head and what you're doing here you just drop that fist up and down feel that make sure you're not dropping your elbow look up sit by the mirror record yourself readjust it constantly you see my head is turning here we go so now but i feel weird i look i see myself i'm more straight but i feel weird in my head that's mean my head is a little bit turning why because my second screen is always on the right side that's what i'm turning this way actually like this so it's drop my head is drop switch side the other one left grab flip pull here we go just right like this here we go this feel really good this shoulder is amazing never have issue with my left one You know how important to be functioning to not experience the pain. In the animal world if you're weak if you're not able to move you're dead. They just use you as a food you prey. So I think in our world is the same. It just cover it up. So hands inside the bands elbow inside and what we're doing here we we'll look straight we don't look up and what we're doing we'll raise our arms in front of us the bands in the tension all the time is not floppy it's putting right here keep going feel that scapula is gliding up and down if not that's okay if you experience pain right now call your physical therapist come to our clinic This is what we do in here. We don't have much specialists but we do have them. So sign up. Really great. Next one it's a no money drill, good for our shoulders. That elbow come right inside. The palms look in each other. Now you just flip them outside, just like that. And it's called no money drill. If someone ask you, "Where is the money?" you just say, "No money." No money, no honey. Pull it out. elbows in feel that feel that scapula that feel just great i feel in my chest everything great next one is the archer my favorite one just uh grab the band like a chain and extend one arm to the side you always look through this arm the other arm is close to your chin like this not to the eye a little bit lower if the band is go away it's not going anywhere every time if you do towards the face i mean don't do towards the face your exercise but if you do some exercise like pulling towards wearing the glasses protect of yourself be safe and now keep shooting keep pulling like you should and slowly release feel that clavicle area feel that anterior delts it's on the front keep pulling your chest look this way now pull hold and what you doing here you do slow rounds like small rounds and slow all different direction left and right you stabilize that shoulder make sure you're not doing this it's still in this 90 90 degrees If you want a little bit lower that's fine don't go high out of the way now rotate in and out you see what i'm doing here my whole shoulders rotate in 
and then try to rotate out. Work those pec muscles. Yeah, delts too. Feels good. Get a little bit closer. You see? So the idea is the band is it's a continue of your arm. If you guys still stay sitting here, so you have to pull, really stretch this band. It's attached to your body all the time. So it's it's right here. It's landing on your arms and on your chest. You're gonna feel the really better. So next, uh, let's switch side. The right hand. You see what I'm doing? I pull. The band is here. So I'm shooting. I pull with my lats. I feel the other arm is pulling now. It's working. My left scapula is working now. This one is just stabilized by shoulder. Now, a couple more. I pull and I hold. You see, I'm not here. I'm not like my elbow is not bending. It's always straight. And now I'm starting to rotate. The band is always in touch. Intensity. Always tight. Other way, whatever you feel. If you feel pain, stop. Now rotate in and out. Holy cow. That's feel just great. Feel big pop. There we go. You can hear that probably again. Feel just great. Next one, thoracic mobility. This is important. The breath is great one, but to always use the bands. My first one is a lion or it's seated cat and cow. Place your both hands on the knee. Push yourself forward, like around your like your chest and exhale pull your stomach in in out in out in out in out now you can try to do the same thing with the band if it's hard for you my hands is always go inside the band now i grab with my big tom pull it inside and grab the whole band it's coming right around my back under my armpit I always secure it and now I can extend and I can do the same thing with my body it's hard push your hands together if you don't feel a lot of tension grab the band more like this now I'm really feel it it's hard for me to go that way so I'm releasing it's helped me to understand where is this stuck if this is stuck here we go a little bit lower switch the band pull up you want a more put on the lower back hold it still in this area oh wow yeah i can feel my hip flexors is working now and my left side is not so much my la- my right one is the the boss up there i can feel it now look i got heat i got energy this is amazing what i feel right now i hope you guys do the same that heat because the spine this is where is the old energy go all right we did really good work let's work on our side muscle try to raise your hands up look up and now drop your right arm on the side walk a little bit further and now lean to the side and look up try to turn your head and lean whatever you can lean. Just breathe. If you hear, you hear. Stay here and breathe. Feel that pulling sensation. If this is painful, back up a little bit. Make sure it's no pain. Good. Pull yourself up again. Look up. The left arm coming on the side. Walk a little bit further. Lean to this left side. And try to turn yourself and look up and breathe. Try to drop those hips. Pull yourself up. You'd be surprised, but I feel that really great click right in my rib area. And it's get more released. Your body know the way to adjust yourself. And this is the key. So pull yourself up. Now, my right arm has come behind me, behind my butt. I'm not leaning forward or backward. I'm still sitting straight. And turn myself, Tell my turn my upper body. My left arm create this little cranky force. Cranked. Place this hand on my right. And turn. Look right behind me. 
and breathe. Switch side, left coming behind you. And you can feel the difference between left and right. This is just feel great. We're gonna go find ourselves on our back position. Lay down on your back. So take your time. Don't rush. Lay down on the back. This is the most safe way to go on your back. Sit down, pull your knee close to your chest, hold it. You see, I'm hold myself. And now I'm slowly, slowly round myself down on the floor. My head is attached to the floor too, it's not in the air. If you can, place some towel or ball. Your legs in 90-90 position. We always do our dead bug. This is unique exercise. Hold this arms in 90-90 position and legs too. Now slowly lower your left arm, right leg. Hold a couple inches away from the floor. Hold in this position. And switch sides, slowly return. Left leg, right arm. Hold it. And return to the neutral. Now you can go a little bit quicker, up and down. Squeeze your glutes all the time. Squeeze your hip flexors. Feel that power, feel that motion. Keep going. Feels great. A little pop in my SI joint. This is joint between your sacrum and ilium. It's right in that lower back. It's always uh, a lot of people complain on this. Always people come with the pain in this area. Why? Because our hip is unbalanced. We always favor one side. We'll lean to one side. Now go ahead and put your knee together, your arms together, and you extend at the same time, arms and legs, working a little bit on your core. The next one is gonna be a little bit more advanced. If you experience pain, go back to the dead bug. But now, a couple more. We're gonna extend all the way down our legs and arm. Stretch here a little bit. Here we go, get, get good pop for me. I feel all the way down. Now, I raise my arms a little bit up and my legs and I'm holding myself in this position like a boat and what I'm doing here I'm star roll myself up and down hollow rock brace my core on one piece I'm not doing this drop my legs and arms so one piece my legs going up my arm is going down brace your core if it's not happening that's okay couple more and now pull yourself up pull yourself up this is the great one we're gonna grab our band the band is coming right on our foot spread your foot a little bit wide let me go a little bit more up towards the camera here we go, you can see my legs are spreading. I hold it, make sure it's not, you're not releasing. Now what you're doing here, you pull yourself up, you hold in this position. Now you just pull that arms close to yourself. Try to squeeze that shoulder blades, pull. If you don't feel it, pull it more. Push this chest up. Yeah. Excellent. Some people do stretching. Well, just a little bit. Don't put too much pressure on the, jo the shoulder joints. 
Very slowly release up. Feel a lot of heat right now. Work through your shoulders. Here we go. If this is too much, uh, shift a band or use just one strap. All right, perfect. The next one, what we're doing here, we place these bands together and push right around our foot, just like that. So both of them, you see, they round everything up there. So now I'm going to grab with my both arms, and this is called boat. So basically what you're doing, you start rowing. You pull that band towards yourself and release. Make sure you're not rounded, and you sit. Try to sit straight. You're not doing this. So your chest is up. All you're releasing the shoulder and your scapula. Everything work from your scapula, your pull. Your legs can be micro bending. It's okay. You load your hamstring. You see, I'm working with my legs too. I pull them. I push through my legs. Here we go. Push my hips. And see, one hip is maybe not working. Pull towards your chest. Finish it. Really good. Here we go. Make sure you're not doing towards your face. Here we go. A couple more. Really good. The next one. We can actually work on our hips now. Yeah, pull that band. And what you're doing here. Yes, yeah, so you just pull one foot forward. And you're going to feel one is easy, one is not. What we're doing here. Yes, we're working on those hips. Here we go. Great exercise. We can do penguin walk too when we're standing, but this is the great one. Okay, release the band. Now we're going to do our favorite star. This time the band is going around your foot. One strap only. Another one, you hold it in your arms, just like that. Same thing, you roll yourself down. And hold this dead bug now with the bands. Now you're doing here, just extend a little bit to the side. Your head is attached to the ground. Pull to the side. Create this amazing sensation. Now you go a little bit further, but don't touch the ground. So like a couple inches away, let me get this away from the wall. So you extend. And you don't touch the ground. Feels great. You're going to feel weakness in one side. So if you don't, this is great. A couple more. And the next one, we're going to do rolling exercise. Extend all the way down, touch the ground. Just imagine you like in the door frame or window frame. One arm is pushing down towards the floor. Another one, try to raise and turn to the side. Don't use your lower body, only upper. So push, rotate. Let me get this water. Cheers. I don't want to spill it. So push up, push down. You don't need to raise up. You don't need to do crunch like here. All you do, just turn your side to the side. There we go. Just like that. And I'm really struggling because I close to the wall. Let me go away and it's probably going to fix that. <laughs> yeah. Always make sure you don't hit anything. Like I just did wall. And it's not going anywhere. Now I hit my head. Very funny. <laughs> All right. Return to the neutral position. Bring this band up. You can roll yourself up. Slowly release the band. And see how you feel. Feel great. Let's grab our mini band. And this time we're going to skip our hip flexors. We're going to go all the way up towards our knee. So we're going to do bridge with a band between our knee. 
And after, we're going to flip and do our favorite clamps. So here, put the heels close to your butt. And what we're doing here, activate our glutes, working with our lower back. My hands is looking up, my shoulders on the floor. I push myself up and stretch this band more. Hold. Squeeze my glutes. Good pop for me. The SSI joint is always locked on this exercise. And I'm going down and up. My band is constantly stretch. Here we go. Don't let that knee collapse inside. You can do this, actually. You can play with that when you squeeze your butt and pull. You're going to feel that muscle is working. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. I'm going to stay here a little bit longer. So keep pushing, keep squeezing. Feel great. Couple more. And lower yourself down. Feel great. Turn yourself to the side. Make sure you're in the one line. Your knees not in the, in the front or behind, in one line. This band is on the knee. You push yourself up in this position. And what we're doing here, we just do our favorite clamps up and down. The idea is return your knee super slow and super slow open. Here we go. Hey. So keep open, feel great. You know, doing this exercise for like for six months, it's really changed my life, like how I feel, how I behave, my vision, my creation. Now I'm gonna pull myself up and do more difficult. So you see my hips is in the air and I'm just doing this. And actually my foot can be in the air too. I'm looking in front of myself, brace that core. And release. Let's do mobility, thoracic mobility. Place your hands in front of you, clamps together. Now what you're doing here, one arm is pushing down and the other one try to turn and twist to the other side. And make sure your knee is not in the air. So it always attached to the ground. If you don't know, put some foam roller between your legs and squeeze, return and go ahead, do a little bit quicker. You can do with the elbow. The idea is to place and rotate that spine. Really good. And now the couple, couple more. So you push all the way down and you try to reach with this arm now forward. So my left one is try to reach it forward. Return and switch sides. So this is how I switch it. Same thing, load yourself with a first progression and go up, make sure it's in one line. Here we go. Feel great. And now, like I said, you can push yourself up in, the, in more advance. Load yourself. Keep going. Excellent. Return to neutral position, lower yourself down, hands in front of you, and we do our favorite thoracic mobility. One arm is pushing down the ground, another one turn. And try to place it on another side. Definitely I feel more, so I take my time in this side, push my hips a little bit forward, and here we go. So what I'm doing here, I push my hips forward and it's allowed me to turn more. So if you kind of limit it, try to push your hips forward 
and it's maybe give you an extra couple inches to reach that floor. Feel good, I'm returning, do a couple more, up and down. Yeah, my knee's coming up, that's what the trick is. And try to squeeze that glutes. There we go, a couple more. Now reach and try to reach this arm forward. There we go, big click for me in that spine, feel amazing. Now we're gonna return on our stomach. So lay down on your stomach. Let's do a couple crocodile breath up here. As usual, activate our lower back muscle. We wanna get rid of this chronic pain. What we're doing, we activate our muscle. Our head is pushing towards that hands, which hands is under your forehead. And you inhale, you push your stomach against the floor and release. If you don't feel anything, grab the yoga block or that Abby mat, place right under your abs and breathe through. Really good. Couple more. You're going to feel a lot of pain, like not a pain, like tension, stiffness release in your lower back. If you feel pain, be really careful. This is probably your the number one exercise till the pain is going to be gone. You can't do any powerful exercise, any squats, any deadlifts. You need to release this tension and pain first. Or you're going to keep injuring yourself and live in pain. It's your choice. Now, get your hands close to that chest like a cobra position in yoga your head is to look into the ground now your head is try to look up inhale your chest is going up slowly thoracic mobility now lumbar area you try to extend and breathe up here make sure your hips is on the floor only stomach everything further it's on the floor now slowly lower that lumbar area chest now neck and heads go back we're teaching our spine flex and extend in the third specific uh the line so your head is coming first chest lumbar and when you flex your stomach is going first your lumbar your chest and your neck do on your own you can go fast you can go quick i mean you can go slowly just it's up to you I can't go all the way down because microphone. But this is great exercise. All right, a couple more. And my favorite one, my hands is coming on the side of my body. My chest is down, my head is down. What I'm doing here, I'm trying to raise myself up, squeeze my glutes, push through my legs and rotate my palms down and squeeze my shoulder blades. So here we go. I'm raise myself up, squeeze my arm and turn them down. So I'm activate everything. You can have a band if you want, stretch. This is another variation. You grab the band and when you pull the band, you raise yourself up, keep going. Squeeze your shoulder blades. If not, on the side and raise yourself up. Lower yourself down. And place your hands in front of you. We work, we're gonna work on our Spine decompression, low, low, lower back. My hands in front of me, like this. Now I'm trying to separate my upper body with my lower. I pull my torso forward with my hands and my legs is pushing down. So I feel that really slightly my spine is open more. It's like that musical instrument, the accordion. When you pull it out, you stretch, you feel that nice sound, those vibrations. 
Just feel all the air. So here we go. Pull yourself up. Make some nice sound. <sighs> feel great. And now I push myself up. Look, I tuck. I tuck my uh, toes, toes in. My hands coming for uh, close to my chest. I push myself up to this tabletop, and I do my band is still and still actually on my foot. That's the key. So now, what you're gonna do? You're gonna start to do cat and cow. Inhale, you look up, try to connect your butt to your head. And when you exhale, you round like a cat and pull your stomach in. Squeeze your glutes. You can go quick. You can go slow. Enjoy every moment. Make sure you feel only good heat, no pain. Feel great. couple more here we go and from this position we're gonna do our favorite p dog this is the truly dog now you stay in this quadrupedal position and what you're doing you just raise that knee up to the side brace that core you can try to play raise one arm here we go you see try to balance it play with your body all different variation Try to switch now. I mean, can do a couple more. Why not? It's good stuff. Now switch. Feel that through your glutes. Yes, feel this through your glutes. Same thing. Oh, yeah. The glutes is burning. That's a great one. Excellent. Now, right from here, I push my knee, to uh, my hands towards my knee, just like that, and I push myself up in that sitting position. So deep squat, my band is still there, yes, I know. I push my knee towards the, to the side, I lo load my hip forward, so I push him forward, try to squeeze. If you hear you round it, place something under your ankle, under your heels and see how's it gonna work if it's help your ankle is not mobile you need to work on it now you're gonna slowly push yourself up shake yourself up the band is still there a little bit lower down right on that below the knee and here we go make sure your long band is close to you too we're gonna finish our workout with a little bit heat. So here we go. My first one and my favorite, it's a monster walk. I'm loading my glutes. What I'm doing here, I put this band in tension and I start walk side to side. I can step, I can do a little bit jumping. Jumping, step. It doesn't matter, you work with your glutes. You can combine. Make sure it's nothing around you, you're safe. Enjoy this exercise. Step. And now, I mentioned this long band. You pull, as usual, your hands inside the band. Twist. Grab the band. Place behind your back. And we're going to do our favorite. I don't know. I never call this. Let's call this Mike Tyson. I don't know. Here we go. New exercise. Mike Tyson. So you put the band. You activate your glutes. And you start punching in front of you. Your hands is always go back to your jaw. It's come from this face. You protect your face. You rotate your elbow in and you use your hips. So you look in front of yourself. Keep pushing. You can push both arms. We activate our pecs. So keep walking, keep punching. One, rotate, use your hips. You can go forward, you can go backward. Make sure you feel it. Yes, try to stay in one position. You can do bounce, bounce to the left, bounce to the right. Keep walking up and down, mobilize that 
Here we go. Feel great. Keep going. Here we go. Keep pushing. The band is still there. You keep pushing it. The next one, remove the band. Start stretching in front of yourself. Grab like a half of it. This is the whole size. This is half. Start stretching towards your chest. Pull. Look forward. Load that hamstring. Load that glutes, not the hamstring. I mean, it's work a little bit, but most idea is your glutes, your chest now. You can go diagonally now. Up and down. That glutes is start fire up. That's what we need. Strong glutes. Up. Switch side. Left is up. It's work differently now. Here we go. You want to add neck? Why not? Look. You stretch. You turn the neck. You stretch. You stretch. You turn. See, for me, it's easy to go to left. The right one? Holy cow. Something not working. The signal is not going fast. So I kind of a little bit slow down to go on the right. So that stuff is make you or really be active understand what's going on how's everything work together keep walking keep burning those glutes oh wow yeah you can do like i said jumping here we go a couple more feel amazing now return to the neutral position let's kill it uh this is the p-dog standing p-dog and you're just gonna stretch this lean to one side make sure you balance and you just raise, you can hold, see how's that feel. Lower down, up and down. The band is a little bit more up on the knee, but that's okay. Below, if you feel, put on the ankle, it's all, it's all good. Whatever you feel, it's all good. Here we go, switch. Oh yeah. Lean one side more than another. Feel that balance, you see that ankle is really good. Usually I'm doing this, wobbling. Why? The correction exercise, and this is the answer. Here we go. Now my favorite penguin walk, we've been talking about this. What are you doing here? You're flopping. You raise yourself and you flop. You're gonna hear like a nice flopping voice, like a happy feet. If you don't, that's okay. Keep learning, you probably don't know how to raise that hip, you see? Try to raise that hip. Here we go. Mobilize that. Get this action a little bit up here. And you see there's a difference, big difference between left and right. So it's always good to correct it. Let's go back to our monster walk, side to side. Feel amazing, feel great. My band is still on my ankles. I mean, on my knee, sorry. I am gonna pull this, yeah, slow to the, my ankle now. All the way to the ankle. Keep walking, different group of muscle now. You're gonna feel a lot of in your glutes. It's really heavier. You're working on that ankle. Keep walking, feel good. Here we go. Excellent. You want to still work with your long band? No one stop you to do at the same time the both group of muscle, upper and lower. Why not? Yeah, I want to go from the top. Yes. I'm looking in front of myself. I don't jam my neck. Every time you lift weights, you don't look up. You always look neutral. Your spine is neutral. You don't want to do that. You don't want to jam. You don't want to go down, round yourself. This is the key. Always postural. It's a great exercise. You can take a stick. Uh, we can use the band, actually. Here we go. Stretch this behind you. Hold one in, on your butt, another one right on your head, and see if you're able to, like, if you're rounded. So just load yourself, and if you feel your band is pushing a lot that's mean you're rounded this is really good correction exercise so you hold and you load yourself (sighs) 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 (sighs)
Good. You can switch arms if you want, but you keep walking. You go back. That was a great, great day. Great exercise. I feel just great. There we go. See how you feel. It's feel amazing. All right. Relieve that band. I feel heat. I'm hot and I'm good. This is how I want to finish my class. I'm mobilized. We did a really good job on Monday. My body is really active. I don't experience any pain, discomfort. And this is what I want to go and do my everyday routine, which is manual therapy. We help a lot of people here in our clinic. So it's not just uh, masseuses. This is more medical, and that's what you're looking for. So we have still a couple specialists available if you want to book uh, your house calls or we have a clinic in Glendale. And this is what we do. We focus on the um, pain management and restore range of motions and, of course, help you to move better. And this is our goal. So not just this, like whatever, whatever people do up there. We do really, truly good stuff. You should try it. Give us a call. All right. So let's close our class. Sorry for this advertising. But here we go. Pull yourself up. Start cool yourself down. Focus on that breath. See if any tension in your body. Maybe you're frustrated. Some emotion comes up. Some memories. Try to clear all everything out. How? Just observe it. Is that really me? Is that truly me doing this? Is that truly me experience that? As usual, great techno music before we go in meditation mode and cool down mode. It's always good. Nothing can disturb you. When you connect to yourself, no no one can manipulate you. No one can tell you anything. You see everything through. You see the lie. You see the truth. And now I place my both hands and start creating this friction. People in India believe they burn the karma this way. Well... Possibly, I don't know. And now I spread my arms up. I always open my eyes. You can keep them close. And what I'm doing here, I'm start play with this vibration. We all vibration. Everything vibrate. Everything, everything. So (laughs) even stones. It's really interesting stuff about the stones. And now, start, see yourself for today, your goal, what's your achievement today, your plans. If you didn't create one yesterday, do it now. Get close to your goal, planning, planning and discipline. This is the answer. As a... 46 years old, I know my 42 years old, I wasn't undisciplined in my life and that's caused the chaos and discomfort. When you discipline yourself, it's change everything around you. And this is true. Now, release this hands. I usually place to my chest, feel my heartbeat. This is all about, you can place this way, it doesn't matter. And I truly appreciate you guys to support our channel, to follow up. And I saw first donation. I really, I really like excited about this. I thank you. I'm happy to do this program and I'm happy to help you. And this is all about enjoy your day. We'll see you uh, Thursday, 730. Have a good day.